Hello everyone. My name is Chef Didar Singh, Assistant Professor, Chitkara School of Hospitality. In part one of this video, we have discussed about various processes, how the cookies and biscuits are made. In this video, we will discuss what are the types of cookies available in the market. Let's now discuss the types of cookies. Cookies are classified on the basis of their method of production and baking technique. Some cookies are piped whereas some are shaped in hands and then baked. The consistency of a piped cookie is softer than the one rolled in hands. The texture of the cookie too largely depends upon the recipe and the style of baking. Some cookies are baked at high temperature for a short duration to achieve a soft center and texture. While some are baked at low temperatures for long duration to make crisp cookies. Cookies are made with various ingredients. Moisture in the cookie is very rarely given with water. The thinning of batter is done with the help of eggs or butter. Various types of cookies are drop cookies, piped cookies, hand rolled cookies, cutter cut cookies, bar cookies, sheet cookies, frozen and cut cookies, stencil cookies, sandwich cookies and festive cookies. Drop cookies. This type of cookie is made from the soft dough. The cookie dough or batter is dropped with the spoon or even a piping bag. Dropping through a piping bag would give better control over shape and size which is the most important aspect of baking cookies. When the cookie dough contains ingredients such as chocolate chips, candied fruits and nuts, it is advisable to use a spoon as these ingredients can get stuck in the nozzle of the piping bag. Some large cookies such as American choco chip cookies also use ice cream scoops to drop the cookies or the cookie dough onto a baking mat for baking. Space out the cookies appropriately to allow them to spread. Piped cookies. As the name suggests, these cookies are piped through a piping bag or a piping tube onto a baking tray. The dough for this cookie has to be of right consistency. If the dough is too thick, then it will be difficult to pipe through a bag. And if it is too soft, then it will spread too much while baking. Designs can be given by choosing the kind of nozzle. The top of the cookie can be garnished with nuts, candied fruits, etc. before baking. One can pipe stars, rosettes or straight rigid lines through various kinds of nozzles. Hand rolled cookies. These type of cookies are usually made with stiff dough such as sweet paste dough, short crust dough and salt dough. If the cookie dough is soft, then put it into the refrigerator to obtain stiffness. Hand rolled cookies are shaped into rounds between the palms and then put on the baking sheet. These can be pressed further with the help of a fork to add a design as in the case of melting movement cookies. Cutter cut cookies. These cookies are made by rolling the dough to a desired thickness and then cutting it with cutters of required shape. These cookies are much more symmetric and looks neat as they are cut with cutters. The choice of rolling or shaping with hands is purely the chef's choice as it affects the final texture and the look of the cookie. Some cookies containing raisins and candied fruits cannot be cut with cutters as it becomes difficult to cut the cookie if the raisin comes in the way. In such cases, the dough is molded in hands and then baked. Bar cookies. These types of cookies are shaped in bars or long ropes or pipes and then baked till half done. Then the cookies are sliced to the required thickness while the dough is still warm and placed again on the baking sheet and baked until crisp. 
This type of baking is also known as baking twice or biscotti in it Italian. Sometimes the biscotti is frozen and then sliced on a meat slicer to obtain very thin pieces that are baked till crisp and served with coffee or as garnish with ice creams and sundaes. Sheet cookies Many chefs confuse these cookies with the bar cookies. There are various methods of preparing this type of cookie. In some cases, the dough is baked in sheets and cut later, while in some cases, they are lined on a tray and the topping is spread onto the base before being baked. Most of the popular sheet cookies are made by this method. Frozen and cut cookies As the name suggests, this cookie is shaped into logs or square bars and sliced when frozen. Such methods are adopted for various reasons such as the dough is too soft to handle or to give it shape or to save on time for sheeting the dough when it is chilled as this facilitates cutting with the cutter. The most common way of preparing such cookie is by using sweet paste. One can mix various nuts and flavorings into the sweet paste and roll it into logs or squares and then freeze them. They are then sliced to 7 mm thickness and arranged on baking sheets. Slicing the cookie in this manner results in evenly sliced nuts which give it good appearance. Stencil cookies As the name suggests, these cookies are made by spreading in thin sheets on a baking tray. Since these cookies are made using very soft batters that spread very thin on the sheet and can lose shape, they are spread onto a sheet with the help of a stencil. Such stencils can also be handmade by cutting desired shapes such as square, round, star and flower on a cardboard. Most of these types of cookies are used as garnish or as an accompaniment with ice creams and sundaes. These cookies are also rich in butter or butter content that help in the spread. To prepare stencil cookies, use a cell pad or silicone paper. Place this stencil on a baking sheet and spread the cookie batter with the help of a offset spatula. Lift the stencil and prepare another cookie and keep repeating the process until the sheet is full. The cookie can be topped with various toppings such as sliced almonds and sesame seeds as per the recipe before baking. Sandwich cookies As the name suggests, these cookies are baked separately and then sandwiched together with a choice of fillings. The fillings could be buttercream, chocolate ganache, nut paste or even jam. Some of the cookies have classical fillings but chefs can be creative and decide on their own fillings. Though one can prepare sandwich cookies by using any type of cookie and filling. Festive cookies Western festivals or celebrations are incomplete without cookies. These are popular tidbits that have found their way into all cuisines cutting across cultures. Festivals are special occasions that provide an opportunity for traditional cooks and chefs to showcase their culinary skills. Thus, we have a variety of cookies being made for Christmas, Easter, Halloween, etc. Thank you for watching this video. So far we have discussed about various processes of making cookies and various types of cookies. In the part 3 of the video we will discuss about the various faults that you find in cookies.